bro, what are you sending me? Link eyed Kif chat showed this earlier, but this game already looks better than Zenless. Bro, I'm about to mute Afro. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can be an anime girl, kawaii, and I can be Spider-Man at the same time? Wait a minute, hold on, let him cook. While running on the buildings, wait, ray tracing, wait. Bro, this shit looks like anime GTA. Wait, let him cook. Yo, imagine if they make an anime game like this, but. Throw a little bit of rec room elements in that shit. Then somebody in the chat will be like, VR chat. We ain't talking about VR chat. This, but throw a little bit of elements of like rec room where it's kind of like you can have like proximity voice chatting and y'all can just start. Oh my goodness. Bro, that's that bitch from Fire Emblem. The one with the purple hair and the big titties. Camilla. Kaiju waifus. I'm I'm interested. I'm looking. I'm a <laughs> I'm adjusting my specter deflectors. I'm interested. <laughs> Peep the free toes, back it up. Peep the free toes. Sumari, could I do it? Somebody did show me this shit, but this was like a shorter cut of the trailer. This was this trailer was way more extended. You said haters for real? Nah, I, it's crazy. I see a lot of people spamming L's, and then watch when this game comes out, and 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 one of their favorite fucking VTubers talk about it, saying, "Oh, this thing is fun." Watch, you are gonna see him coming back into the chat talking about retro. Try this game out, man. This game don't even look bad, bro. Y'all just haters. It don't even look that bad. Bro, this game literally has everything you motherfuckers drool for. Waifus. Giant waifus. Spider-Man mechanics with open world cities. Literally everything y'all... And free feet. Man... Project Mugen, it looks very interesting. Pre-register, say less. 
I'll definitely pre-register. Give me a second. Where's the pre-register? Chat for real hating. Let them cook. Trailer looks gas. It looks gas. It looks good. I think it looks good. Where the hell is the, the, the pre-sign up? Where's the pre-sign up? I'm going to sign up for that shit. You said main issues that the devs of this game is kind of sus. Oh my god, dude. Yo. That's your reason for saying the, the game in its entirety is ass? Because a, a, a person who worked on the game is sus? Let me see. It looked very interesting. It's not just one person. Because it has bad monetization practices. At least wait for the game to come out. If they have previous bad monetization practices, wait for this game to come out and see what they do. And then if their monetization practices are um, bad in this game, then you could just be like, all right, then the game is ass. You say in before it's full of microtransactions. No shit this game is going to have microtransactions. It's a, it looks like it's a free-to-play game, bro. Any game that literally looks like this, it literally, like... This game screams free-to-play. And if a game is free-to-play, how else are they going to make their money, chat? This is how you guys got to think. You guys got to think as, like, a business in a business perspective. If they release a game that's free, how else are they going to make money? They have... It's either ads... It's either they spam ads to the mobile game or they have a bunch of microtransactions on it. It's either or. He said chat quit spamming. I know, chat is just so pepega. Then just don't make it free? Hell no, I'd rather them make it free. I'd rather them make it free. Because this game obviously looks like there's going to be gotcha elements to it. So if they if they make you pay for the game, you, they're just going to kill the game at launch. If you got to pay to get in and then pay for the gotcha. It's stupid. It has to be free to play. You said not going to lie. I'd rather buy. Zap, you're telling me. You would pay 60 to get in and then get hit with gotcha elements afterwards? Y'all just saying y'all want to pay more. Y'all make no sense. The game is, is a free-to-play looking game, bro. It looks... Total pre-registrations, 152,000 people pre-registered. You said it's a free gotcha. That's what I'm saying. It looks like a free gotcha. You said you would rather pay for the game on its own. But then if you pay for the game on its own, they're not going to start adding a bunch of content to it like a live service. That's why games like Genshin stay alive and they stay relevant. As much as people shit on Genshin, Genshin is constantly updating their game, adding new waifus, adding new husbandos, adding new areas. Um, adding just a bunch of new shit to the game constantly. That's why the game is still alive. Imagine if Genshin was just, you gotta pay and then you get in. Genshin would have been irrelevant already. If you had to spend $60 to play Genshin and then you could like experience the Genshin experience, nobody would be talking about that game today. You said there are games that make you pay for it, but give you free updates. That's legit a business model. But they don't make as much money, though. They make way less money. It's kind of like you got to think about it as like single player experience games. They do the same shit. Like they release the game. They probably update it like once, maybe twice. And then anything after that, you have to pay for the DLC. You said Genshin is one of a kind. You said, don't we use Genshin as an insult? Genshin can be used as an insult, but 
here's one thing about Genshin that I got to show props to. They're still relevant. They're still here. Genshin is still here. And as much as Nigga, people shit on this Genshin... this chat is full of gotcha gamers. None of us are expecting a F2P game to not have microtransactions. It's about how they handle it that's the issue. They've failed previous gotcha games and one of them is Harry Potter, a major Which established one? IP. This is a brand Which new IP that's why people are concerned about how they will handle monetization because... Look, here's my thing. If, if they fucked up previous games and people know about it, there's no way that they're gonna fuck up this game if they fucked up other games. But all we can do now is just wait. That's it. That's all we can do is wait. We gotta wait for the game to come out and see um, how it runs and what's in it before we Personally, can even make a judgment. if a game has heavy microtransactions and or gambling period, I don't want to play it. I rather pay $60 for a full, complete, no microtransactions game than anything else. Yo, good luck, Rash. But that's just me. That's if good luck people for you. want to play gambling games, let them. No, I mean, I mean, but that's a good luck for you. Retro, you do realize when Sumero was around and Inazuma, the game lost so much popularity to the point where it was irrelevant when Star Rail was announced. Played Genshin since beta launch and it was fun then they started pushing the gotcha element so much and lowering the 50-50 rates. They fucked up Genshin, Honkai and Star Rail now this. I don't. I mean... I mean... Regardless, Genshin is still relevant though. You said we don't care about Harry Pooper. But Genshin, Genshin is still here, bro. If we search up how much people are playing Genshin right now. It's still That's relevant. Acting like they'll be forced to play these type of games. You said. Watch this game Chaco be better like, than Genshin. Exactly. And shit niggas are gonna be pissed. Bro, Genshin is still super relevant, man. You guys, you guys act like just because a uh, um Genshin had like a hiccup that that it's like irrelevant or something. Genshin is still super prosperous and they're still like hella relevant. He says, "Stop buying into the mi microtransaction games." Genshin has over se seven million players. That's what I'm fucking saying. I'm literally looking at the. I'm looking at the statistics right now, bro. July 30th, 2023, last 30 days, Genshin impacts live player count. Bro, average monthly player, 66 million. Bro, this shit is not dying, bro. This shit is not dying. Just because the game had a single hiccup at, 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 a, at like a certain event doesn't mean the shit's dead. That shit is still there and it's not going anywhere for years to come. Genshin is still going to be here. You said, it's even getting an anime? You see, I didn't even know that. I didn't know it was getting an anime. But if they got money like that for it to get an anime, they're trying to make that shit go to the freaking stars. Because they're at the moon, but they're trying to get to the stars with all their shit. They're trying to make that shit so global that that little kids wake up in the morning and they got Genshin Impact plushies. They hugging in, they're hugging their plushies. Stardust. Yo, Stardust, you literally just came into the chat right now and, and you don't even know what we're talking about. You said, here's the Genshin teaser anime. You said, Star plays Nikkei. <laughs> I heard the anime is going to be a hundred, a hundred plus episodes and it's high budget. No way, dude. Let me see. This is a three-minute teaser? This ain't a teaser. This is a mini... This is like a sneak peek to an episode.
is it going to be animated in, in their 3D video game style, or is everything going to be hand-drawn? Okay, she looks so cute. I can't lie. She looks super cute. They're really, they're really going to bring us into this world. They got the towers and shit. They're not going to show us anything, bro. They edging, they're edging us so hard with this trailer. They don't want to show us shit. They're edging us so hard. Like, like at least show me a clip of them in the town square. I want to see that one girl in the booth talk, talk about Traveler. Traveler, where's your dailies? That shit gonna be crazy when it like come out come out <laughs> what what game is this oh zenless zone bro nah hold on we're gonna talk about games con how how big of a flop that zenless zone zero shit was they didn't show us a fucking damn thing they didn't show us a damn thing bro that that was stupid bro this is another game that's all microtransactions free to play and chat out here like this man watch watch it's gonna be that one guy in the chat but it's about their monetary practices Motherfucker. See, I got you now. I got you. I caught you. I caught you before you could say it, motherfucker. Damn, bro. I already got you. <sighs> it's about the monetary practices. This game, I'm excited for it. Like, I actually want to see more news about this game. And even though I'm not that big of a Hoyoverse stan, like I want to try them out. I want to try this out. I want to I want to try out Star Rail. I like the RPG in terms of like turn-based combat. I want to try that out. I want to see what's up, you know. I wish I could try Star Rail on PC, but I don't know if I could transfer my save because last thing I need to do is get invested on PC. Then PlayStation version comes out, and then I'm like, oh, I want to play it on PlayStation. Oh no, now you need to have a separate account. You say you can? It's cross save. They confirmed that shit. Oh shit. So I might play I might play them. Oh, 
There's parry mechanics in this game. Oh, he's parrying like a god right now. They never showed my wife Nicole Amura. I had her as my PFP forever and she never showed up. Back off chat, Nicole is my girl you fake cat. You heard that chat? Nicole belongs to Cole. Retro really think he's grabbing someone by their neck but at his height, he's just grabbing that by their dicks. You nasty electric, you're nasty! You are nasty! See this how we know Hoyaverse stands are mad at Project Mugen. Got MFS right now raiding the Mugen Discord spamming all the channels and saying Z's is better kek. You lying, that's what's happening? This is how we know Hoyaverse start, um, stands are mad at Project Mugen. They got motherfuckers right now raiding the Mugen Discord spamming all the channels saying Zenless Zone Zero. No way. You say you're looking at it right now, Oddity? That's crazy. Nah, nah, but think about it though. That really no, I mean, that really lets you know when a fan base is a little nervous. Because if a fan base was so sure of themselves, they wouldn't have to do that. But if a fan base out here feeling like, damn, we gotta go to somebody else's server and spam a bunch of shit, that kind of showing that, they, that they're a little intimidated, if anything. You said they're pinging at everyone? I don't know, man. When the games come out, I I'm going to try them all out. I'm going to try them out. They're all gotcha. They're all free to play. I don't mind trying them out, seeing how the user interface works, seeing how the characters interact, all that shit. It's going to be fun. And that's the best part about free to play because you don't got to pay money to try them out, right? Like, Because cause, cause it's going to suck if you have to pay money to get in just to like experience it. Best thing about free to play is that you could try it. If you don't like it, you drop it. You'd be like, all right, fuck this. This ain't for me. Same thing happened to me when it came to Genshin Impact. Like, I like Genshin, but I feel like Genshin is very high investment. Like, you really have to play it a lot to get the, the full benefits of the game, if that makes any sense. And then I'm like, damn, I don't want to play Genshin all the fucking time in order to get the full advan like, the advantage of get Genshin. Excuse me. So I, that's why I'm like, nah, I don't even want to play Genshin because I got other shit that I'm doing. And I'd just rather play mobile games. I know Genshin's a mobile game, but you think I'm a run? You think I'm gonna be in my Genshin universe on my phone? My shit's gonna blow up. Yeah, the story is long as shit. Hey, 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 Travit. I play Clash of Clans. I play Clash Unless of Clans. Unless I like really like the game and am super invested into it like with Nikkei. I'll go in free to play and go on it from time to time. Oh, thank you, Okoro. But Clash of Clans, I've been a day one player. That's why I still play Clash of Clans because I've been playing since day one. Nikkei, because chat showed me the game. I liked how it looked. Then I remember when it got closer to beta. Chat was like, yo, the beta's out. I didn't get into the beta. I was sad. When the game officially released um, last November, Bro is I played Kirk it. Rider. Cock Rider! Yo, I'm a big-ass hog rider. No dick. Pause. No play. No reversal. No chat misinterpretation. I said what I said. I be running hog. Damn, that shit sound bad, bro. Hog Rider! Bro, I'm about to say, yo, man, I be running hog riders all the time whenever I'm playing Clash of Clans, but it sounds so bad to say it out of context. Yo, I be running hog rider. Hog rider! Oh, God, man. The combat in this game looks fun, though. I'm, I'm excited for this game. 